So as I said in the last tutorial, now let's create the provider class for the models. So for that, let's create a new file in here and let's name it um, models provider like that. Like that. And we need to call the Dart. And uh, in here we need to initialize the class and I would name it models provider. And uh, we can use with changed notifier, but uh, for now we will not really use it, but I'll just keep it like that for now. Okay, and if you don't know too much about this state management, I will try to explain here as much as I can. But again, please watch that course that I told you about. What I will do is to initialize a list of models. Model. We will not really use it, but I will just keep it for you if you want to make identification in this app. So let's create a getter for this list so we say in here list model so I'll just copy this and we say get and get models list like that and now we need to return the models list now let's define a string here and let's name it current model like that and initially, let's put it equal to text DaVinci 003. Now, let's also create a getter for this one. So, what I'm going to do is to copy this, paste it, and the here it will be a string. And in here, we need to return our current model. And in here, I will say get current model. Like that. Now, we need to also set this model. So when the user choose a model here, I want to set this current model equal to the new model or a new chosen model. Okay, so we can in here create a setter function. So let's say current, um, set current model, and we need to pass in the new model. So in here it is a string, and uh, let's name it a new model. And in here, we need to call the current model and set it to the new model, like that. And now the provider, you can think about it as like a listener. So when there is a change, we need to tell the provider to listen to this change. In order to do this, we need to call the notify listener function. And in order to be able to listen to a widget, the provider needs to be a parent of this widget. And our highest parent is the material app, which is the highest widget. It is above of all the widgets that we have. So what can we do exactly is to add our provider above of this widget. So let's wrap it by a widget here and we can say multi provider. And in here it takes a providers argument. And for this provider argument, we need to add our model. So in order to add it, we need to define something here called change notifier provider. Um, and they create here, we don't need this, and we can return our models provider. Oops, models provider, just like that. Okay, so now this provider will be able to listen to all the changes below of the material app. Now, Let's go back to our models provider. And now I will create function that we will not use. So basically the thing that we will use are these and the list, we will not use it, but I will just keep it so that if you want to fetch this model somewhere else, you can directly get it from this provider. Okay. So I will just create a function now to set this model list. So basically what can we do is to create a future and then list of model so that this future will yield a list of models model. Now we can name this function get all models and uh, it will be we need to add this async keyword and we, we need to return something. Okay. So now we can set this model list 
equal to if you remember and the api service we are returning here our list so we can use this function in here directly so we can call the api service dot get models like that and of course in here we need to await it and now we can return our models list now of course this function we need to use it so in the chat screen we were using it in here this function and also we were using this function and the drop down button so in here instead of using this method we need to use the provider method so in order to initialize the provider we need to initialize it and the build because we will require the context of course you can access the context here also if you are in stateful widget but you need to create it and a function but for now let's just initialize it in here so final models provider and then we need to call the provider package and now we say off oops we need to import this provider package and now we call off we need to specify the type it is models provider and then we need to give it the context and now i don't want to listen to it so we can call false here and that's it now we can call this models provider here and then we can call this function the get all models function okay that we just initialize it in here now restart the application and let's make sure that everything is still working correctly okay everything still working now if i choose ada close it open it again we didn't fix this problem yet the old current model still appearing so we need to fix this in order to fix it let's go back to the to here and what can we do is to remove this and make this string nullable and it won't be a problem because if you check here for the value it is nullable okay so to start with in the model provider we created a function to set the model and we are using here notify listener so in here we can call our provider so we named it models provider and let's call the set function and in here we need to give it our value like that perfect and now we need to fetch the value that we have the current model that we have so what can we do is to set the current model here equal to the models provider dot get current model now let's test it and make sure that it is working okay let's see now i will choose ada close it open it again and now here it is we have ada i will try again i will choose if da vinci open it again and here it is now we have the correct model here perfect so i will recap what we did we created this class in here we created this current model we also created a getter for this current model and a setter for this current model okay these we didn't use but later on if you understand this concept you can use it as what you want so i gave you the code for it as i said the provider is a listener so in order to be able to listen to any other widget it needs to be a parent and and the higher widget so it will be a parent for this widget in order to be able to listen to it so this is why i added this models provider above of the material app widget and finally we use this provider here and because we don't have to listen to it because we will fetch it just once and no changes will appear so we are using the function to get the models 
from the provider because we need to set our list here. So this is why I use this function. And then we are fetching the current model here by getting the current get model from here. And initially, because we initialized it li like that, so initially this text DaVinci 003 will be our current model. Okay? So if I change this for something else and restart the application, this one will be changed, of course. Now let's go back. And finally, we are setting here the models provider to the new model. Okay? So simply it is like that. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. This was all. I'll see you in the next one where we will start implementing the messages. See you there.